If you want to rank top on AI searches and get a lot of organic traffic on your website, you really need to implement EAT on your website. And you can see here on my screen, these are US based website and I'm implementing EAT technique on this website and traffic is just going up and up. We got a little bit down here, but now it's going back up. And this is all after AI mode. We are still continuously getting a lot of traffic from all the search engine. So today I will share you how you can show EAT of your website like practical steps. I will not just bore you with a boring lecture. I will show you exact example what you should write in your blog post, what you should change on your website so that you can also get a lot of traffic on your website through AI searches and also normal Google search engine by implementing EAT. And if you are new to the channel and you want to succeed in this AI power world, you need more than tools. You need the right strategy. And I share all those high quality tips on this channel free of course. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and subscribe is totally free. I really appreciate that. With that said, let's go to practical guide how to implement EAT on your website. So EAT stands for experience, expertise, authoritativeness and trustworthiness. So you can see for experience what we can do. This is a practical guide. I prepare this small sheet here. You can see what it means. What sentence you can actually use in your blog to show EAT, what heading you can add in your blog to show EAT and I give some example and also what to do, what not to do. And guys make sure you watch the video until then because in end of the video I'll show you a real blog post and how you can show the EAT on your blog post. I'll give you the real example, the words I use, the sentence I use, all the tips I use. First E in EAT which is experience. So experience is that show that you have done it, whatever you're writing about, you have to prove that you have actually tried what are you talking about? This build trust and AI visibility. AI search engine loves the blog posts and articles and pages which shows the experience and how you can show the experience. So what you can do, you can use some sentences in your blog post. For example, you can use, here is what happened when I tried this strategy and then after you continue writing your blog post. Or you can write, I use this tool for 30 days. Here's my honest review. It can be a app review or a tool review. Or you can write, in my first month, I made 12,000 using this exact method. This article could be about how you make money using freelancing app or by any other method but you show that that you did it by yourself so these are sentences which you can use in your blog which will show search engine and AI tools that you have experience in this field what else you can do you can use some headings in your blog post for example my experience using canva tool my experience using adobe photoshop my experience using something else or when i tried going to gym 30 days regularly or how i earned 10000 rupees with any platform like upwork fiverr or anything so you can use this sentence or you can use these headings to show that you have experience in those fields. A good example would be I started a Fiverr gig offering resume design. After 14 days, I got three orders. Here's a screenshot from my Fiverr dashboard. And then you add the screenshot of a Fiverr dashboard. This will show that you have experience working on Fiverr. It can be big experience or small experience, doesn't matter. It shows that you have experience in the relevant field. For example, you can say I started a YouTube channel and after one month I got 300 subscribers. Here's a screenshot from my YouTube dashboard. And it is really important I tell everybody to have social media presence. For example, you can see this is one of my channel. I got only 300 subscribers here. I posted only 48 videos. It's a very small number. It is not a big channel, but still I have done it. So I can show I have the experience in this field. Please do this attach the screenshots. Okay, now let's talk about what to do to show expertise in your blog post. So use personal stories, screenshot and real result, even small ones. Like I've shown you just here that I have a small YouTube channel. Screenshot, personal stories, even they're not really big, they really help to show expertise. What you should not do, copy other people's stories, publish generic top 10 wishlist with no experience. Now I want to talk about these people who take data from somewhere else. For example, if you create like a blog post about 10 top mobile phones in 2025, most of the time I see a lot of people create blog website like this and they get no traffic and they spend years and years creating this kind of blog post and they get no traffic. Money is like really far. They don't really get any traffic. Maybe very small traffic, maybe they make $10 per month, but that's not something significant. Because you have no access to these kind of mobile phones. If you don't have access to these mobile phones, you don't have experience with those. What you're doing, you're trying to steal the data from somewhere else, from some big YouTuber or from a website. So please do not start a blog which you don't have experience in. Please start a blog which you have real experience. You know something about it. You can see I'm getting very less views on this channel, but if I post this, people will understand, okay, this person has real experience in this field. And AI also sees all this stuff. Let's go to expertise. Here you have to show off that you know your stuff. What you're writing about, you need to show off about it. Don't be shy about it. So what it really means, let the reader and the AI know that you're qualified to write on this topic. And guys, don't be confused. Experience is different and expertise is different. So experience is how much time you spend with the something, whatever your result. And expertise is maybe you have done a special course about it. Maybe you have a special degree about it. Or there can be multiple things how you can show expertise. Okay, let's talk about what sentence you can use in your blog post to show expertise. 
So you can write written by then your name with five years experience in the topic. It can be blogging, it can be SEO, it can be crypto, it can be finance, anything. But make sure you really have those expertise. I have helped over 50 students start their blog from scratch. I have been testing SEO tools since 2017. So when you write this kind of stuff, AI will understand that this person has expertise writing this kind of blog post. Where you can add all those stuff, you can add under a blog title. You know, there's a byline under the blog title where you can write written by your name and then with five years experience. At the end of in about the author box, a lot of people do not use this properly. They add sometimes summary which is AI generated. Do not do that. Try to find a nice summary for your author box. Even on the homepage, you can show your expertise. What headlines you can use? You can use about the author. Why listen to me? For example, if I create a blog about WordPress and I will add a paragraph in the blog post, I say why listen to me? Then I say, okay, I have experience from 17 years creating WordPress website, SEO and programming. You can also use who am I and why I wrote this same thing again. Who am I? I'm a qualified engineer and I'm working in this industry from last 17 years. And why I wrote this? Because I see a lot of people are not getting the right information. This will, I will write in this paragraph of who am I and why I wrote this. To give you an example, example could be, I have been building WordPress blogs since college. I have worked with 25 plus clients and I have three websites which hit 10K visitors per month. So this is a perfect sentence to showcase your expertise inside your blog post. What to do to show expertise? Add a real author photo and name. I see a lot of people, they leave this by default admin and they do not put a picture. Please put a real picture of yourself and then add your real name. Mention any training experience or courses you have done about it. List credential, ES experience or relevant achievements you have done to it. Link to respected sources where you are featured. What you should not do, post anonymously using admin username. Give advice outside the field, a YouTuber writing medical tips and fake experience. I see a lot of people, they create blog posts about crypto, finance, but they have no experience. What they end up doing? They end up doing wasting their time, money, and a lot of hard work. So please do not do that thing. And this is just an example, guys. I have created a free cheat sheet with 20 plus niches that what to write exactly, which paragraphs to use to show the EAT for AI and Google search engine. If you're a channel member, you can download the cheat sheet for free. If you're not a channel member, please consider joining the channel membership. I share a lot of important stuff there. And we also have a private group where I share a lot of important tips and tricks. And this is a real nice way to support the channel also. With that said, let's go to third point which is authoritativeness. Here you show that how other people are trusting you. What it means? Other people cite, mention or link your work, you're part of a community. Usually you have to work on backlinks from high relevant DR website. But if you're new, you can also do a lot of things. Because a lot of people ask, okay, I'm new. How I can show that I have authority? It sometimes can be complicated, but don't worry about it. We're going to discuss that also. So first of all, let's see what sentence you can use in your blog post. So you can write, this post was shared on Reddit, SEO and got 30 plus upvotes. And guys, you're not using Reddit, you're missing a lot of stuff these days. I highly recommend you go to Reddit, learn how things work there. Join a subreddit, log in for a few days, try to see what's happening there. You will get a lot of nice information there. You can see, I have this small blog post I wrote 13 days ago in a blogging subreddit where we have 174,000 bloggers. And I shared the tips which I also share on the YouTube channel here, like free tips, that how to enable Google Discover traffic on your website. And you can see I got 3000 views and 14 upvotes. So I can show that how my blog post helping a lot of people. And you can see I got also some comments also here that these are super helpful tips also. Okay, so you can also do this small thing and don't tell me you cannot do this. This is really simple to do. You can join a Facebook group, you can go to Quora, you can go to X, you can go to Facebook and you can collect this kind of authority signals for your blog post. You can use over 120 students have used this worksheet in my free course. Or I regularly share tips on Quora Discord communities. You can add the screenshot from your communities also. Even they're smaller, doesn't matter. What headline to use? You might seen this headline as seen on, trusted by what others say. These are logos you see on big website. You can also put these logos of these small things on your homepage. Like for example, I can put the screenshot of my YouTube channel on my homepage or my website to show authoritativeness. If you have even a little bit bigger audience, you can see a 35,000 followers, which is not a really big number, but still a significant number. I can add this on my homepage of my website to show my authoritativeness. You can add logos from Reddit, Quora, Medium, YouTube, X, even if you just posted there, you are a very small creator there. Don't worry too much about it. Another example I can show you, I have this small group here. You can see I have 90 members in this group. A lot of them, they're my friends and family, but still you can use the screenshot from these groups to show your authority in that subject or for that blog post. Example could be my SEO checklist has been downloaded over 300 times and used by many bloggers from India, France and US. Or my Reddit post got 3000 views and 15 upvotes where I explain how to enable Google Discover on your website. This is the same example I just shown you with my Reddit post. 
what to do to show authority build a mini featured in section with even small wins share blog posts in committees forum newsletter and i think anybody can do that don't just go there posting direct links please give some information give some value to those committees and then share your links maybe if that's allowed in that community what you should not do fake logos or claim you were not featured in or promise don't write that you are top 1% ex expert and the tips you're providing they're proven do not do this if you do not have experience into that domain okay let's go last one which is t trustworthiness so trustworthiness be transparent and safe a lot of things you can do about it so google and ai reward safety honest websites be clear clean and transparent so for sentence you can do to show trustworthiness for example you can use updated july 25 i've added all this latest ai issue changes so what i can do if you write a blog post like earlier you can update the blog post and you can write that this blog post update 2025 july and what you have done you have added all the latest ai issue changes or when you update your articles with the relevant information the new information maybe the information you told before it was not the correct or it was the old information now you have new information so people say okay this person is sharing a lot of new stuff also and is accepting what was not working before and what is working right now so try to update your blog post and show them that when it was updated if you're using affiliate link you can say some links are affiliate links but i only to recommend tools which i use you can see this is my website here here i have affiliate link and i have written here clearly these links are my affiliate links and i may get a small commission if you buy via my links above so this is how you can gain trust of people so you just disclose them everything what is the motive of your writing blog post or of youtube channel or anywhere you are giving any information you can add multiple ways to contact you for example if i go to my contact page you can see i have in my email i have my whatsapp number i have my skype number i have a contact form here so these all things direct the trustworthiness of your website or your blog one more thing you should have all these pages on your website privacy policy page contact page disclosure page about page please be detailed in about be as much detail as possible if you are individual or a company please try to add as much information as possible on page elements so guys make sure ssl certificate on your website is really important and nowadays ssl is totally free and if you are not having ssl on your website you are lacking a lot of stuff you will not have good ranking and traffic on your website if you don't have ssl where it is completely free nowadays if you want to know how to install ssl on your website check the link in description updated date visible on blog post read a testimonial even in simple comments if you have good google reviews you have good trustpilot reviews if you have good reviews anywhere on internet please add those on your website give people link to go and check on those website reviews about you just to give example this post is based on my real results and last update 2025 you can check my full disclosure and contact with me question you can add this kind of disclaimer in the end of the blog post what to do use https link your privacy contact page in the footer clearly cite all sources if you are using any data from somewhere please add the links to those data those citations in the footer or, or in the end of those blog post what you should not do leave outdated content like tips for 2021 use shady affiliate links without disclosure bombard users with pop up and untrusted ads this is the biggest problem guys i see on your website when i audit this website a lot of time people get the adsense account approved and they put ads everywhere so you're not reading the blog website you are reading ads on the website so it is not a blog website where you have ads it is a ad website and you have min middle you have some information do not do that that's a really bad sign and that's how you lose the trustworthiness if your website got approved for adsense do not misuse that please add ads on appropriate places and do not bombard users with ads or pop ups or push notification on all the pages that's really bad sign okay so here is the blog post which shows eat so you can see the blog post about how i got my first five clients on upwork 2025 case study you can see here i write this blog post is written by abhishek as web developer seo specialist since 2010 it shows my experience in this field and you can see updated 2025 july and this might be blog post from like few years ago but i am updating it so it shows the authority in this blog post you can see i have the intro here in this intro say intro if i decide to restart freelancing or work as a solo web developer within my first month i landed five clients made 40000 rupees this post explains how i did it with proof templates and tips you can copy and you can see i show experience here everything i share is my actual client work on upwork no fluff no theory and you can see i added the screenshot of my real upwork profile here and you can see i have my all the earnings here which shows my expertise that i have been working in web development since 2010 people can go here and even you can show that your project from like 10 years ago which show real expertise and i scroll down i say first three proposal i got from clients you can add a screenshot of proposals here which will again show experience that your proposal worked because you cracked the projects that build trust with the audience they're watching that that you crack the jobs by your job proposals i can also show some screenshot with the feedback you can see here which shows experience and trust that you can see i got five star client in 
Then again, 2024, I got so many five star reviews. And this is a real screenshot from Upwork, which shows experience and trust with real project example and verified reviews, which help establish both credibility and authenticity. So okay, don't forget to download a cheat sheet for channel members in the description. And that's if you want your website or your blog to be successful in this AI powered world, I highly, highly recommend you subscribe to the channel because I share a lot of important tips and tricks which you'll not find anywhere else. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and that's totally free. I really appreciate that. And if you want to support the channel, you can also join the channel membership. And now was the real case study that how a small website could rank number one on AI searches.